Shut up and sit down. Hi, I'm PJ McTavish. Welcome back to another DCG tutorial. So today we're going to kick off with uh, the 2017 short questions. Just get back into a few more uploads on the channel. So this is 2017A1. Uh, the image below shows a Bluetooth mini speaker. The speaker is based on a cube uh, with its face is cut as shown. The drawing on the right shows an incomplete axiometric projection of a similar cube using an axiometric axis method. The planes of reference are also included. Uh, the elevation and plan are shown um, in their required positions where the lines are drawn in the three visible faces. So first things first, A is complete the axiometric projection of the cube and the given lines, and then B, we determine the true angle between lines A, B, and C, D. So obviously you start with A first, so complete the axiometric projection of the cubes and the given lines. So this is an axiometric question coming up in as a short question. If you look at what you're given, so you're given the plan here, you're given the end view. Now notice that we have two faces here and we have C and D already given to us. The next thing we need is A and B and we'll, if the construction line is missing, we'll uh, continue them on to figure out uh, where our lines are, okay? So maybe we should start labeling first. So now that we have the, the label, also label this line here on the front edge there. So we see E at the top, F at the bottom, so don't give that there because it's on the straight face. So once you have them labeled, project them from both views up to the axiometric view. So we have E there at the top. So let's project that down. As you project on the edge of the cube first, maybe, and get those put in. along the top goes to this point here so if we project that up to the back it'll give us that position a projects over this corner here follow that over which is over here and then lastly we have this section here so that's going to be Maybe that GH maybe. So that's the Plan done here in our 3D view. We have to join A to B, yes, over here. So on your right hand side there, we have A, B, and C, D, which is done. We had E, F. We also had C, D continuing on from point D here to a point on that line there, which is here. So instead of leaving it, I'm just going to check that down. That's continuing on D. So that's crossed it here, so we can sit in D over that point. We also have E to F, which is already done, and the top. And there's no hidden detail in the background, there's no hidden detail in this. So part A, complete the axiometric projection of the cube and the given line. So we completed the cube, just projecting 30 degrees from the uh, end view here, projecting straight up from the plan. And the next thing you got to do then is find your line. So we're crossing certain lines here, like G was crossing at the back there. We found that over here at the back and so on. So what I'm going to do is just draw them in strong now and then we'll focus on B. Okay, so that is part A done. That's our complete axiometric projection of the cube and the given lines. Now for part B. So 
B it says determine the true angle between the lines A, B, and C, D. Now, if you look at your lines A, B, and C, D here, what we need to do to find the true angle, you gotta see that surface of the cube as a true shape. Now, if this end view here was looking directly in it, you might be able to do it up here in the end view, but you see two surfaces here. That surface represents the front, that surface there represents the left hand side. So I might share that in just to highlight it. Okay, so what we need to do is find, do an auxiliary view of, probably of the plan here actually, because that line here represents the face there. And if that line is giving you an edge view of the surface, if we were to like rotate it down, or in this case, project it across and get our heights from the end view here. And that's basically your, like, your elevation. So if we do an auxiliary elevation from the plan, so I'm going to do is project perpendicular to that line here, because that line is the top line here, which represents which represents uh, the length of the surface. Okay, so that's a true length there. Okay, we're looking straight down and that's a true length. So we'll project those two points out here to the right hand side. projecting an auxiliary elevation from that plan so we're going perpendicular to that edge here because that's giving you um, that's a true length here so we're basically like rotating it down okay so we're projecting an auxiliary elevation from the plan we're going to get our heights from our end view here okay so because they're true heights so this is up for c because remember we want to get the angle between a b and c d so not only are we doing the surface we're also getting the uh, the lines as well so get those heights to the compass mark them up here and also we need that's oh yeah c and d so c is on the edge d is on the edge b is on the base a is on the base so we might just have to project b down to find it on the base there and project that across and that's all you have to do with the plan for point C and point D we need to find this is B on the base and I forgot to project, project up A so project up A and that's going to be right at the top you see here from your elevation so draw that line across because that was the height we got from the end view project up A and we'll be able to find the true angle Your auxiliary elevation of that surface with our lines a b and c d it's a true uh, it's a true shape of the surface because it's projected perpendicular to it and that means that our lines a b and c d are flat there so the angle between them kind of similar to our coordinate geometry question like the dihedral angle so that is the true angle between them so determine the true angle between them all right so that's it and it says determine doesn't say indicate so if it says determine you just got to show it indicate means you need to put in the actual measurement and measure it so that's a 1017 finish so uh so again it's an axiometric question straightforward enough and as always with these uh, tutorials or these um fancy marking schemes basically uh i hope they help and if they do leave a like and don't forget to subscribe as well because it's kind of hit and miss when i upload so that you know when i do upload Again, good luck with your exams and see you in the next one.